Welcome to the Okie Woodsman channel. I think I am set up for some big time firewood production. I'm gonna go ahead and get these rounds rolled over here to my Split Fire 3490. That machine ran over three hours on the first fuel tank and I split a lot of wood with it. Let's get started. I'm so thankful I don't have to pick these up. I'm just gonna be able to get them there to the splitter. Rolling a log is a lot easier than picking it up. Black at, whoa, yuck. I'm about to break them out of their home a little bit more here. Let's take a look at this as I as I split here. I want you to see that. See if we can get anything good out of this. That's no good. Should be getting into good wood now.
don't know why I have my chaps on right now. I'm not cutting. A little bit warm. I'll probably take these off. Yeah. That's the first one on the log lift. That'll be next up. Oh man, it's a lot easier to roll than it is to pick up, I'll tell you. I figured I would go ahead and have the machine stop running to save a little bit of fuel. It runs for so long. I'm really curious to see how, how much I can do in, in a little bit here. This machine, a single person, is not waiting on the machine. If you're an individual user, you're not going to outpace what this machine can do. I truly do believe that probably two more bodies, I think I could probably keep two more bodies pretty busy. If people could just go ahead and keep feeding logs to me and unloading the deck as I split, we could crank with this thing. There's also a safety thing with that as well. You have to make sure that the people you're working with understand the risk there is. This machine is fast, it's high flow, and that knife's going both directions. So one thing that my wife and I have done is we actually have fluorescent yellow gloves. Because I'm gonna get her on this machine here shortly, not in this round. And when I do, I'll probably be loading wood and I'll probably have her split. And I wanna see what we can do. If you've never videoed anything like this, the amount of time it takes to video, anytime I reposition the camera, it slows the video down. So in a half an hour, we've split all that. I've split all my largest rounds from that particular session of bucking. And I've got, I'm ready to go with some more right here. So let's go ahead and run it. Woo! Yeah! It's like this right here. I'm worried about the camera view. Not red loss. I'm really not a big oak fan, everybody. I hate it actually, depending upon which one it is. This is why this wood is no good for sawmilling, it's disgusting.
I'm at 49 minutes of splitting right now, or at least three, 49 minutes of video. So with less than 50 minutes of video right there, this is how much wood I have in the trailer. I've got a bunch on the ground too, because I've been throwing it over. Boy, I've never produced firewood so fast in my life. What an incredible machine. Wow. All right, so I don't know what that is right there in terms of measurement. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and roll some more wood over here. I'm gonna try to split all this stuff up. If you watch the channel, um, I bucked all this up with my uh, MS460. That has a scored cylinder, or scored piston, I should say. I will be rebuilding that. I just, it's not on the uh, radar at the very moment. What is on the radar though is this 620. So imagine if I had two more adult men rolling me logs the whole time, we could fill up that trailer really quick or a dump trailer, no doubt. I am working, but I don't feel like I'm exerting myself tremendously. How are these hikes boots working out, you might wonder. So far, so good. It's kind of nice doing firewood having a uh, steel toe. They do feel a little warm. I'm wearing a mid-weight wool sock right now because that's what I wear year-round as wool socks. No pinch points or anything like that. Well, isn't that absolutely phenomenal? We are gonna get so much wood split with this machine. After looking at this, I might not just do bundle wood here in the future because that's quite a bit of wood very quickly. If I can keep getting my hands on more and I do intend on doing so, then I could definitely start selling, here they're called ricks or face cords. I'm gonna go ahead and stop this video here. I do appreciate everything that you guys have done. Um, because you guys view, opportunity has come to my family and I. So thank you, sincerely, thank you. If you are one of the 90% of the viewers that are not subscribed, please consider doing so. It would mean a lot to me. If you do not comment because you feel as if there's already other comments that address it, go ahead and drop down in that comment section and let us know you're there. If you could, kind of let me know what region of the world or country you're in. You don't have to give me specifics. I don't need a, a little small town with 300 population because that would just be creepy. But everybody, if you could, just kind of let me know where you're watching from. Hit that subscribe button and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.